Welcome back, everybody. This is Lady Dubs, and we're picking up right where we left off. About to, at least. Okay, that load took a little longer than I thought. Not as seamless as I hoped. Oh. Oh, hey, Hyde. How's it going? Good evening, Mr. Hyde. Oh, by the way, I uh, switched up a few uh, settings on my microphone, so hopefully things sound better, because I noticed you really couldn't hear me when I was voicing as Hyde. So this is a good test. Let's see if it works. Evening. Are you by yourself tonight, sir? Kyle is coming. After his shift. Huh. It's pretty empty in here. You're our first customer of the night. <laughs> um, is there something wrong? Nothing. It's just a bit strange that you say our. When obviously... There's only you here. Oh. I guess it's just me. But when I'm working, I always put myself as the barista in the coffee shop. I see. Anyway, I need to order something. What do you want to drink tonight? Huh. Do you have any blood? Yeah, that's the right response to that. Uh, sorry, sir, but we don't? Unless you want to count the one in my veins, but I'm not giving that up. Come on. Did you really think I was serious? Oh. Nah, give me a ginger green tea. Make sure it's warm and bitter. Oh, okay, so we can now... Yeah, I actually did write down uh, less caffeine, green tea, ginger. Okay, so green tea... Now, if we put... Yeah, it increases the bitterness if we put green tea here. Or we could... Which one do I do? Do I do base ginger? Or do I put tea as base? I don't know. You know what? We didn't read our stories today. Why don't we just start it off with that? French kissing a cat? What? Oh, yeah, right, because Freya. Oh, wait, wait, did we miss yesterday's reading? Oh, no. Death drivers. Oh, wait, no. We did miss it. Dang it. Okay, we're reading this first. Death drives. Freya Fontina. Dead drive drives, but sometimes he commutes. When that happens, you know for sure because his presence is clear all over the news. But still, mostly, death drives. I realized this fact after returning from a long trip to Tokyo I took recently. As usual, I drive to work every day thanks to the unreliable public transportation here. And I noticed that every day, my life is always on the line. No, not on the line as in... We will eventually die, and we don't know when. On the line, as in, we are all at war with everyone else. We're in a war between pedestrians, cyclists, motor motorcycles, cars, and everything else on the road. And during all of that, death is either driving or sitting in the car seat next to us. Ever since realizing this, I started to drive more carefully. I drive as if my parents are sitting next to me and telling me to drive slower because I know death does not like reckless driving and he's not a for as forgiving as my parents. True that. Now we're up to French kissing a cat. Once again by Freya. So what's the craziest thing you've ever done in your life? Asked her dating app partner. Pretty bold question to ask on your first date, Akira thought to herself and in the first hour as well. Are you sure you want to know the answer she asked back? Definitely, I think it's the best icebreaker and it's also a good indicator. Indicator of what? For how compatible we are and... And? Well, you know, I don't mean to offend you, but just in case your answer is I cut someone into 12 parts or I strangled my Tinder date till he died, it's an indicator that I will immediately run away. Fair enough. Acura is Acura's interest in this guy increased maybe just maybe he could handle her story so do you want me to go first he asked I'll go first although it's more like a crazy hobby of mine not something I did just once so I could tell a story for the rest of my life color me interested so I love to kiss cats that doesn't sound too crazy I'm talking about lip-to-lip -lip kissing, especially French. I love French kissing a cat. Yeah, what? Her date responded without hiding his surprise. You never tried it? 
If you feel uncomfortable with kissing a male cat, you can always try doing it with a female one. Are you telling me you kissed a female cat before? Both male and female, I'm pretty flexible. He didn't say anything, which was unsurprising, considering such secrets were usually revealed on a first date or ever for many people. Oh, weren't usually. Damn it, I misread it. Not that bad, you know. Here. Let me tell you about the first time my French kissed my cat. Do I... Do I really need to... I don't... I kind of don't want to read this. I'll keep going. I was around 14, an age where most people feel curious about many, many things. Especially, uh, sexual... Sexual stuff. But I had no boyfriend, so I couldn't ask just someone to help me practice kissing. But I did have my biggest love at the time. Her name was Orin. She was a beautiful orange cat with a gorgeous pair of shiny orange eyes. Her date was still hadn't responded, so Akira continued. Seeing her beautiful eyes, I got an idea. I decided to borrow my mother's red lipstick and paint my lips red. It was just a mess, but I was pretty satisfied with the results. I picked her up as usual without knowing. I quickly put my lips to hers. Of course, she clawed her way out of my grip just... But just in that quick moment, I felt something weird. It's the same feeling you have when you ride a merry-go-round for the first time. No, roller coaster would be a better comparison. After that, I started honing my skills. Now every, now even stray cats don't mind me kissing them. To her surprise, Acura noticed that her date hadn't left her alone in the cafe, unlike previous days she's told stories to do. Are you crazy, the man asked, with his eyebrows halfway to his hairline. Well, you did ask for the craziest thing I've ever done. Why? You're not interested in kissing a cat even though, even after listening to my story? God, no. I'm a dog person, for God's sakes. Well, it looks like you guys are a match made in heaven. Let's just look at Totemacho. That, that was not a good story. I did not enjoy that one. Uh, Georgie, what's, uh... Now, your favorite things are, fav are movies, police university... Cop Story and Robert Cop. Oh, these are names of movies. I get it. Uh, what's what I'm doing with my life? Father of three beautiful girls. Oh, you have more than one daughter. That's nice. Gala. And I'm still close to everything. I don't know why I'm seeing this again. Oh, but we got Hyde. Hyde's a supermodel? Wow. Good on him. Uh, let's see, 8th of February, being a vampire, professional model, CP, Alyssa, oh, that's his, uh, manager, I suppose. Uh, Rachel. Oh, this was probably the group she was in. Uh, let's see, 29th of February is her birthday, contact this for business inquiries, and that's it. Alright, I had my fun with that. Let's just do green tea, green tea, ginger. Yeah, it's very bitter, so maybe that's good. Fruit. I'm definitely going to want to keep those images up whenever I make something. They're cute. Alright, so now I'm just going to write down that I did ginger... No, green tea times two, then ginger. And we'll see how Hyde likes it. Here is your green ginger green tea. Let's see. Huh. Not enough. Excuse me? It's not warm or bitter enough. I'm sorry? Forget it. It's not bad. But definitely not enough. By the way, if you don't mind my asking, ask away. You said you're here for work? Yes. For a couple of weeks. You're not in the medical industry like Mr. Gala, are you? Hell no. I could never imagine myself doing something so... What's the word? Something as honorable as that? Huh. You know what? Give me a moment. I'm just gonna write down that the tea was not good. Or not good enough. Next time, I'm gonna try with the double ginger and just one tea. Well, green tea still is the base. Then, are you dealing with something I shouldn't ask about? I'm not a criminal. In case that's what you had in mind. I mean, it's not an evil job per se, but definitely not an honorable as working in a hospital. Then what is it? I guess. 
Oh, you just said guess, not I. Damn it, I'm so bad at this. You travel a lot? More or less. You befriended a startup founder. So I assume you either have your own startup, or you work in some kind of investment agency. Heh. <laughs> I used to, but not anymore. That startup founder, he's just a friend. Then what do you do? Well, I know, because I read his online social media profile. He was a supermodel. Good for him. I've had my career paths in my life. They got boring after a while. So right now, I'm a model. I didn't expect that. But you have the look and the figure. So I guess it makes sense. You want to know a secret? Sure. Those ads for anti-aging skincare products? No way. Vampire models. We are unnaturally good looking. Skin paler than an elf's. But we don't have those annoying pointy ears. Which makes us basically a bunch of good looking living mannequins. How better to advertise anti-aging products than with people who naturally don't age? Isn't that false advertising? Heh. <laughs> don't be naive. Truth is a matter of circumstance and perspective. Advertising is just framing the truth. I never thought about it that way. How long have you been modeling? Oh, not long. Oh, what's the vampire version of not long, I wonder? Yeah, not much more than 30 years. Wow. Is that Gala? Oh no, hi Freya. Good evening. Can you please be a little quieter? There's another customer here. Act like a civilized person, if you can. Oh, come on. I'm just trying to make this place a little livelier. You don't mind, right, sir? No, I don't mind. I'm pretty sure I saw you the last time I was here. You bet. You could say I'm a regular here. Hence the attitude. Hey. You look very happy. Any special occasion? Nah, nothing. This is my default state. She only has two states. Either extreme excitement or super stressed. Stop putting me in the bad light. Anyway, what were you talking about? We were talking about Mr. Hyde's profession. And what is your profession, dear sir? I'm a model. And he's been doing it for 30 years. Holy shit, 30 years of modeling? That's a long time. Not for me. My current liaison in the clothing brand I work with is the daughter of the guy I worked with when I started modeling. Usually I work until it's the grandchild. Wow, you wait until three generations, damn. That's really cool. I'm Freya, by the way. Nice to meet you, Freya. How's the- oh, how's the writing so far? It's okay. But I'm stuck in need of a warm drink. So, brew me something, please. Coffee? Nah. I need to take it slow tonight. Make me something warm, sweet, without coffee. Oh. Okay, so this is a good opportunity now to look up our brew pad. What's something warm, sweet, doesn't have coffee? Well, this one is like literally just coffee stuff here, so that's this is tea, it's undiscovered. We've got the cough syrup, we got the green tea latte. Uh, there's the chocolate chocolate. Oh, we got nothing there. I thought whenever I got a thing, like it gave me the thing, like I don't know how to describe it. Like whenever I discovered a drink on the menu, it gave it to me automatically. I guess it didn't, I should have been writing them down. Well, I guess I can go back to my own videos and I can see what I missed. But in the meantime, uh, something warm, sweet, and without coffee. Let's see if I can figure this out. Alright, so... Uh, this does not give me any warmth, but we don't want coffee in it. There's tea. Oh, tea gives us warmth. What about green tea? Less warmth. And more bitter. Let's do tea. Putting in lemon increases the bitterness, so we don't want that. Honey should increase sweetness, yeah. 
ginger increases warmth and bitterness by a lot. But we want more warmth, so maybe we should put in tea, or maybe we could put in cocoa powder. No, we can't put cocoa powder once we have a base of tea. What if we put down tea, milk, and honey to just top it off with some sweetness? All right, let's just put double tea and a honey. God, that's really not sweet at all. Damn it. What if I put down tea, milk, and honey? Damn, it's still not sweet. Cocoa powder. No, I can't make it warm that way. Okay, reset. All right, we're doing tea and double honey. It's risky. I don't think this is the right way, but I'm doing it anyway. Let's serve it. Honey tea. Oh, you know what? That's now actually a recipe. Honey tea. I'm writing that down. Serve it. A warm, sweet drink is ready. Nice! A perfect drink to end a day. Oh, good. She liked it. I just wrote down that she liked it. Glad you liked it. So, you're a writer? Yeah, I work for the Evening Whispers. But I'm also working on my own novel right now. Sounds interesting. What kind of novel are you writing? Ah, uh, It's complicated. You should wait until she finishes it. Yeah, no spoilers. That's if she ever manages to finish it. Yeah, that too. What's the genre? Slice of life. So, not fantasy or sci-fi? Hmm, not too sure. Probably it'll be normal slice of life. You'll have tough competition. You're not wrong. I'll probably put some surreal elements in there. Maybe I'll set it in a world where only humans exist? <laughs> sounds a bit racist. That's the twist! There isn't about- this isn't about racial supremacy. Imagine, even in a world where only one race exists, problems will still appear anyway. Discrimination and racism will still happen. How can they be racist without other races? Differences in languages, nationality, ideology, or even skin color. Wow, see, we're being really meta now, aren't we? When everything's the same, the smallest difference will stand out. Perhaps it's diversity that can teach us to look past the differences. The bottom line is, we'll always find a way to hate others. Yep, I believe that. I assure you of that. That doesn't really sound all that funny. Hey, it's fantasy. That's what fiction's for, anyway. Painting the what-ifs. Huh. <laughs> that actually is pretty interesting. I'll buy your book when it comes out. And I'll fly back here when I... to have it signed. Aw, thank you! Oh, is this Gala? Well, we're building up tension, aren't we? Oh no! Uh, Lula! Uh, I forget your voice, girl. I'll, I'll figure it out. Uh, hey everyone. Good evening, Miss Lua. Hey there! How's it going? Great, thanks. Lua, please meet Hyde. Nice to meet you, Mr. Hyde. And Hyde, meet Lua. Hi. Are you by yourself? Yeah, just finished a meeting. I need to escape from my co-workers. So I decided to come here instead. Is Bailey's coming here? Oh, he's not. Oh, looks like Hyde got a call. He's a freelancer, remember? He's free to do whatever he wants. And everything okay? To be honest, we haven't talked much since the other day. Oh. We shall fix that with a warm drink then! Good idea, thanks. I'm in the mood for a green tea latte. Green tea latte? Is there a problem? No, it's nothing, sorry. Then a cup of green tea latte, please. All right, let me just double check the recipe so I know I'm not doing it wrong. Oh wait, we got another update on Totem and Chill. Oh, we just got a new thing for Hyde. 
Myself Summary, part of Lost Angels Agency, old enough yet still seeking the truth and purpose of life. Well, aren't you deep? Oh, Freya, storyteller. What's going on with you? Uh, favorite things. Coffee, coffee, coffee. In case you didn't get it the first time, I'm a big fan of Naiman and Harukama, so there's that. What I'm doing with my life. Working as a journalist because it's the best way to learn how to write better. Take Talk to people who have experienced more than you and get paid for learning things. Hey, you know what? That's not bad at all. Alright, so brew pad. Uh, green tea latte. That is just, uh... Oh, sorry, I have to look here. Green tea, milk, milk. Milk, milk? Brew? And I guess I should do the latte art on this because I have the option to. I need practice, man. Let's do it. Latte art. Alright, I'm gonna do this better this time. Now, quickly. Oh, wow, that's that's not good. Okay, let's try this a little slower. God, it, it's really hard to make latte art. I can reset it, which means I have to dump the whole thing, which I'm not gonna do. You know what? This is as good as she's gonna get. Serve! Your green tea latte is ready. Thank you. I don't know why, but I was suddenly longing for a green tea latte. Like, this drink really feels heartwarming. Call me pretentious, but I think drinks have the power to connect people's hearts. That's surprisingly deep for a cup of tea. By the way, about Bailey's. Has he visited this place again? After our last meeting? Not that I know of. He hasn't. Well, getting another text if it seem hide. Oh. I should apologize for the commotion we caused. Please don't worry about that. Who is this Bailey's person you keep mentioning? Uh, yeah, silence. It's kind of her thing to answer, not ours. Yeah. Bailey's is. Or was. I don't know. My boyfriend. We had a little fight a few days ago. About what? Hey, it's okay for him to just ask her like that. You tell me. Dude, I'm a customer. You're the owner of the place. It's an old problem. I'm a succubus, and he's an elf. Huh. The usual racial problems, then. Psst! Show some manners, old man! What? I'm just following up the questions you started. It's alright. Bailey's and I have different views on the importance of family. My family's pretty close, and usually they're supportive. But when it comes to dating an elf, they fear that I'll be treated like... Like a peasant. Bailey's, on the other hand, he comes from a well prospected elven family. They can be cagey at times, I get it. But for whatever reason, he took his family for granted. It's not surprising that his family would disagree with the relationship. You don't sound like most succubi I know. How's your boyfriend dealing with this? He said we should just keep going. Just the same as we'd been for the last ten years. So, you've been together for ten years as a couple. And he suggested that you both should just go on as usual. I mean, your relationship for the past ten years... That was without familial approval, right? Well, yes. But I want our relationship to move forward. I want a family. Did he disagree with the idea of marrying you? Not, no, quite the opposite. He wanted to marry me. What's the problem then? It's not that simple. His family will disown him? Yes. He wants to marry you, even if he has to leave his family. Yes. Problem solved then. Why do you have to care so much about what his, his and or your family thinks? Just marry him. Make a family of your own. It's not that simple. 
I don't want to be held responsible if he regrets their decision one day. Abandoning one's family is not a solution. What if marrying me is a mistake? What if he regrets leaving his family? I can't take that kind of responsibility. I can't let him make that sacrifice. Lua. Did you ever think about the risks when you started dating him? Yes. No. Maybe a little. We didn't think it would get this far. Heh. <sighs> From what I see, your problem is the, you're the problem here. You're pretty greedy for wanting it all. Him, family approval. If you ask for racial reconciliation, might as well ask for world peace. Old man, stop talking. Lua, if I may ask, do you want to marry Bailey's? I love him, of course I do. Even so, I can't let him leave his family for me. It would be selfish, because I can't do the same for him. I love my family so much, no matter how messy they are. Well, that's difficult. So you're forcing your boyfriend to have the same life as you. That blood is thicker than water mentality won't work here. Not every family is worth fighting for, you know. Some are. Not his. Have you ever met Bailey's family? No. They always rejected the idea. Did he try to introduce you to them? He did. You can't have it all, lady. This is not a fairy tale. This is a, not a story where some fairy godmother will suddenly appear and grant your wishes. This is how things go in real life. You have to take chances and make sacrifices, and you choose which one is best for you. Pretty simple. I... I mean, he's not wrong. I'm sorry I have to leave. I hate to be the girl who always runs away, but thank you for the advice. Take care of yourself, Miss Lua. I will. Bye. I mean, it's not bad life advice, Hyde. Sometimes you just gotta make the sacrifices and the decisions. You can't just hold on to everything. You were super harsh, old man. But you agree with me, don't you? Well... You didn't have to say it so harshly, you know. What are you doing here by yourself anyway? Trying to pick a fight with everyone? I'm waiting for a friend. Is this Gala? I don't even know anymore. Oh, there he is. Yeah, there he is. Hi, Gala. Good evening, everyone. Hey, Gala. How are you doing, Freya? I'm fine. But your friend here is one hell of a troublemaker. What did you do this time, Hyde? Stated facts. Harshly. To someone that needs it. But not the way you said it. Let me order a drink first. Then you folks can tell me what happened. What are you having today, sir? Do you remember my Fury Remedy? I mentioned it a couple of days ago. The one with ginger and caffeine? Yes. Can you help me try to figure out what it is? Sure. Should I try mixing the ginger with tea? Yes. Tea, ginger, and I'm still not sure what the last one might be. Okay, I'll try experimenting with it. You'll know when you get it right. Okay, so we definitely want a base of tea, we want a base of ginger, and, uh, Jesus, I don't know what to put in for the next ingredient. What will be the option? Milk, which just makes it a little cool, I don't think that's gonna help us. Honey, which makes it a tad sweet, and lemon, which just max out the bitterness. I mean, you said you wanted it bitter, right? So, you know, I'm gonna write this down. Alright, so we're doing the tea, ginger, ginger plus lemon, brew. Ooh, freshly squeezed lemon, nice. Can I do coffee art on it? Nope, just serve it. Okay, so this is actually just ginger lemon tea. You know what, I'm just gonna write that down. Serve it. 
Uh, why do I have an achievement saying, is this it? Okay, I guess that means I got it wrong, because her face seems disapproval. Uh, here's your drink, sir. Uh, did I do something wrong? I put down tea. It said you wanted tea, right? Uh, I am a hundred percent sure. This is not the remedy I would need. Well, now we know. So, let me write it down. Let me try brewing another. It's okay. I'm more interested in the story anyway. You know what? I got another update on my phone. Oh, it may be... Yeah, Lua. Let's read it. Okay, oh, it's all its all in French. Uh, oh, wait, no. Uh, favorite things. Of the bright moonlight, believer in a life without fight. I'm a big fan of art and poetry. What I'm doing with my life. Working 9 to 5 in a trading company by day. Going to poetry readings in museums on weekends. And raptured by the forbidden fruit. Oh, okay. Forbidden fruit might be your boyfriend. Also, I... I'm assuming this is French. I honestly have no idea. I can barely speak English, people. That's been well established. All right, let's listen to the story. So tell me what happened. She's a better storyteller than me. All right, so there's this girl. Oh, good, I don't have to read it all out verbatim. If that's the expression. And that's about it. Hide. Oh, hide. You never change, do you? Hey, I remember you said that you got married, so is this like a similar situation you had with your spouse? It could be. Oh, both of you are going to judge me for being honest now. Dude, honesty is good and all, but, you know, try not to be a dick. Listen to her, Hyde. She's not got a good point. Not you too. I was a bit surprised though. Usually you don't bother with this kind of thing. I've seen you actively avoid it. Eh, you know me. We've been friends for years. Okay, is this like a more than friends thing? Yeah, of course. I don't know why I got involved in that discussion. I guess the vibe in the place had seeped into me. I understand. This place does have that special magic. Not exactly a ma good magic, judging from the reaction I received today. You may be right, but there's a better ways to say what you have in mind. Anyway, I've got to go. So soon? It's past midnight. I need to get some sleep. Take care on your way home, Miss Rhea. Sleep tight. See you guys. Bye, Freya. There's the jingle. So, boys, how are you doing tonight? Why are you staring at me like that? Nothing. What did you want to talk about when you told me to meet you here? I was just bored. And that's the surest way to make you come out. Seriously? I thought the story from Freya was enough. To fill your daily dose of interaction. Well, it was something, indeed. <sighs> you said something about being my friend for years. Yes, why? Do you ever wonder what we'd be like if we hadn't met? What do you mean? Yeah, what do you mean? I'm not gonna say anything? Forget it. Mm-hmm. It's late anyway. I need to get back. Huh? Alright, Lady Dubs. Thanks for everything. Uh, the pleasure's mine. Bye. Yeah, I'm getting a hint that he wanted to be more than friends. That's just my clue. I I'm not the best at vampire emotions, though. Or human emotions. I'm not good at these things. What was that? You know him better than I do, Mr. Gala. Care for another drink to the end of the day? <laughs> sure. Oh, I wanted to practice some more. Oh, okay. Oh, Spiced Lady. You know what? I'm writing this down. Alright, I wrote it down. And I say we have time the episode to maybe play through part of the next day.
Maybe I'll change up the music too. Today's the 26th. Evening Whisper, Saturday, September 26, 2020. Atlantic countries plead for land folk to send help instead of trash? What? Oh, I get it. When they're talking to land folk, they may be referring to mermaids. And land folk are just polluters like, you know, everyone else. That could be it. Opinion. Who watches The Watchmen in Seattle? Are we talking about, like, what? What, what streaming service was that Watchmen remake on it? I honestly didn't see it, so I don't know. Cats are the best creatures on Earth, research has proven. I can't say it. I love cats and dogs. I can't say which one's the best. I love them both. Oh, give me one moment, please. I just want to save. All right, we're going to just play through a little bit. Welcome. Oh, oh. Hi. Who are you? How are you going to drink with that, I'm wondering? Um, welcome? I mean, you're going to have like an echoey voice, so... How does that pick up on the microphone? Uh, maybe I should do something else. Oh, wow, that sounds really muffled. But you know what? It works. You're wearing a helmet, so we're going to deal with that. Good evening. Good evening, sir? Oh, the usual earthling linguistic problem. We will never get used to it. Um, is it okay if I call you, sir? Definitely. You can call us whatever you like. We do not mind a bit. Do you want to order anything, sir? Oh, yes. We have to communicate our order. Please pardon us. Hmm. What do you recommend? We will not be able to taste the difference anyway. Uh, what do you mean? It is alright. Forget it. What is the most expensive drink here? Everything's the same price in this coffee shop. Really? Yeah, really? That is interesting. Unlike other places we have visited so far. Have you decided on what to order then? Okay, we would like to order... anything. Anything? Anything. Okay, anything. World's the limit. Sky's the... Sky's the limit? I don't know. I guess space the limit for you. What's something I haven't made on this list? Let's try it. How do I discover new coffees, I wonder? I guess just by mixing things up? You know what? Screw it. We're gonna try doing a little bit of experimenting. We do have these... I think I see something new on the menu. Yeah, it's, uh, cinnamon. So what if we just put down a double milk with cinnamon? Fruit. Just cinnamon milk. I was hoping to get that spice lady. I guess it's double cinnamon. But you know what? We're just gonna write down cinnamon milk here so I know I have it for the future. Let's serve it. Your drink is ready, sir. I hope it's to your liking. Don't worry. It will not matter to us. Okay, let us drink this. Um, okay. I guess you drink through osmosis, through your suit? Um... Yes! Oh, nothing. Okay. It could just be a guy playing a prank on us. Um, excuse me, sir. Yes? Why did you put your finger in the drink? That is a very strange question. We are drinking it, of course. Drinking it? Yeah, yes, drinking it. Yeah, this is really the only proper reaction to what we're saying. Oh, yes, of course. We almost forgot! Earthlings use their speaking organ to drink. We use our appendages to drink. Usually, a polypropyl, like they're not even gonna bother saying that word, drinking apparatus is provided for use. Pardon? It is 
is what you call plastic in the shape of a long tubular stick. Oh, your finger's a straw. You mean a straw? Yes, we wonder why earthlings rely on it so much. Mostly, you can drink without it. Yet the plastic stick apparatus was provided on 87.76 of all drinking occasions we encountered. And it has become the biggest single use for pollutants on your planet. Hey, I use male straws, man. Anyway... How do you drink with a straw? The same as we just did. But thanks to the plastic stick apparatus, we do not need to put our appendages in the liquid mixture you call drinks. It is very convenient. Perhaps convenience takes higher priority in Earthlings' decision-making processes. I see. Well, I don't, but I also just remembered we still haven't read our Evening Whisper story yet. Let's do that now. Swipe right to outer space. Okay, this is actually holds water to what we're seeing now. Hello there, I'm a female alien. That's what you call us, right? From a planet located in a galaxy the humans call Andromeda? I'm here to make sure my kind can survive longer and spread farther across the universe. That's what was written on her dating app profile. As a sci-fi nerd, I didn't I didn't need to think much about swiping right, even though the pictures she was using for her profile were just cosplay silhouettes and weird artsy spaceship-like photos. And here she is now, sipping her cup of Papuya Wamina, looking exactly like the dream girl I've always fantasized about. Dark bald hair, thick eyebrows, sharp eyes, and a never-ending smile directed right at me. So yeah, I came to this place like 168 hours ago. There were 12 of us, and I'm the lucky one, being located in a place with such fantastic drinks, she says, after some time spent explaining about her task as an alien. I love sci-fi, but this might be too much. She hasn't said anything about her job, where she really was born, or any other normal stuff. Maybe she's crazy. That must be it. No way such a perfect-looking girl could be perfect on the inside, too, I say to myself. So what's your plan? Are you going to release this story as a novel, comic, game, or movie, I asked her. What story? The story you've been telling me. It sounds like it could be really popular if you adapted it into the right medium. Well, I've been telling the story through social media and dating apps. That's not enough. If it could be adapted to something sort of mainstream media, you could be rich, you know. You could be famous. Huh, famous. Does that mean more of your people would know about my people and our mission? Definitely. And with the exposure like that, it should be easier for me to meet humans with high quality seeds. Um, yeah, I guess. Okay then, where should I start? Suddenly my phone starts ringing. It's my best friend. Ah, uh, pardon me for a minute. I need to, need to get this. I say to her as I answer the call. Yo, dude, who the hell is that chick you're with? She's freaking gorgeous, man. My friend's excited voice meets my ear, an overly loud whisper I'm immediately suspicious of. What? Are you at our usual coffee shop? Yeah, bro, I'm lining up at the counter. Do you see me? Oh, yeah, there you are. You lucky bastard, where did you meet that beauty? Man, I always love it when they grow their hair super long and then color it like that. Huh, what do you mean? Uh, the chick bro sat right in front of you? She looks just like my ideal girl. Long hair, all rainbow colored, like that big eyes and those cheekbones. I put down my phone and stare at the round cheeked girl in front of me with a strange mix of emotions. Why are you looking at me like that? She asks. You really are an alien. Uh, yeah, that's what I've been telling you the whole time. Well, fuck me. Finally! That's why that was my task all along. So my place or yours, and please no protection. <laughs> oh, so she wants seed, she wants uh human seed, male seed, whatever. Okay, well, gl glad we cleared that up. Uh okay, sorry dude. Let's chat for him for a bit more and we'll end the episode. I guess people won't suspect a thing if you put your hands on a straw. Affinity. By the way, you said you just arrived? Where did you come from, sir? Oh. 
it would be too complicated to tell you the details, but we can tell you one thing. We have a mission here. A mission? Yes. What kind of mission? I want your acting school of female. <laughs> I can't see that with a straight face, and you know what? That's a good enough time to end it, I'd say. Uh, it's a good enough cliffhanger. I don't want this to be going on too long, and it's perfectly ridiculous. I <laughs> uh, hope you guys are having fun with this, because I am. So, if you guys enjoyed what you're watching, hit subscribe. If you want to keep up to date with the story, ring that bell. And thank you all so much for watching. Later.